everybody, this is Pano. How are you guys doing? I hope you are doing well. I um, realize we've been a little bit silent the last few days. Um, Pam and I are still having scheduling issues and then I wanted to do it, but then I injured myself over the weekend. So I have, um, did something to my ribs and it's like, oh no. <laughs> so it was a little bit rough going. I don't know how people when they have a cracked rib or a strained rib or broken rib, whatever. I don't know how they function, but it was difficult to say the least. Uh, breathing was a little challenging, um, but I am quite a bit better now. Thanks to Aleve. I think I need to do like a, a, a commercial for Aleve. What I think Aleve back in muscle something or the other um but whatever it was it worked and i could actually breathe in peace and not be in excruciating pain so <laughs> so i am back to almost almost better now about a couple of weeks ago we mentioned this island jersey and we actually started talking about jersey because i'd read an article um from journalist this journalist her name is uh, leah mcgrath goodman she writes for the institutional investor and she wrote this article called the heiress the queen and the trillion dollar tax shelter and it's about the channel island jersey and um, so Pam and I had this discussion about it because there are so many parallels to how what hap is happening there and what's happened with the Sussexes in the way how, um, how the powers in Jersey react to when they feel their powers are threatened or they feel someone is going to out them. There's a lot of power parallels to how they respond there to how say the royals respond with harry and megan so um we did this interview um about i don't know a week and something ago and we actually recorded it before and then realized the camera wasn't turned on so we have to record it again but anyway so um take a look i mean jersey is this um again this channel island right between so you know group of islands about eight of them between england and france actually about 14 miles from france and about 85 miles from england but somehow yeah, it's a dependent of the queen don't ask <laughs> so so take a look at the conversation pam and i had about jersey we we mentioned a couple of weeks ago or at least i did telling you guys to research jersey island kind of a huge topic and uh um, it's interesting because when I heard Jersey first and Pedro brought it up, I thought it was Jersey. New <laughs> Jersey. Jersey. New Jersey. I was like, what has New Jersey done again? What are they up to? I was like, seriously, who's thinking of Jersey? Like I always, New Jersey and New York have this thing going on, right? So yeah. Well, I was for like, those people who are not in the U.S. and never probably never heard of New Jersey, if, if you live in the, in the U.S., when you hear Jersey, what you would normally think is New Jersey. Jersey. Yeah, and because, so that's yeah. what we were thinking. That's what I was thinking. I was like, wait, oh, what have they done Jersey. again? Is this Jersey Shore, the show? What have they done? What's going on with Jersey? Like, seriously. Uh, but this is a whole new Jersey. All right, so like we said, Jersey has been earlier on mentioned. Um, so what I realized that Jersey is part of the, uh, the is a, a, a dependency on the crown, right? It's kind of like the crown um takes care of them yeah the uh, english channel they're these islands. Channel, rather. yeah they, they're um, called channel islands actually channel islands and so it's it's as small as dover <laughs> that's how big it is or small it is as dover uh, uh and it's it's not that big but it's now it's become a place where people uh lose like use as a tax invasion uh not really want to pay their taxes all the rich a lot of rich people i mean filthy rich people are channeling their money through Jersey. And the connection will come up later. You will understand why we reference in Jersey. It's like, well, who cares about Jersey? You know, I, I don't care. You, sh you will know why. Uh, but yeah, so the queen actually is the monarch there. Parliament in the UK does not control Jersey. Uh, they have their own institution, but the money, I think the money is reflective of the queen, right? They have the 
the queen yeah the world. queen yeah the money they have their own money they have their own treasury and everything but right. the queen because the queen they don't answer to the british government like you said government, yeah. they only answer to the crown, to the so crown. they're the, yeah. the dependent of the crown yeah and so yeah even though they um but for military purposes they um they are protected by the, the british but british because yeah. they don't have even a though, strong yeah, even though they, they don't have, have a military the they only have a police department they don't mm -hmm. have a military and the queen so. is actually called what is it the duke of normandy i i like that actually that you know whoever is under crown then she's not called the duchess of normandy she's the duke so whoever is under you know whoever is the monarch is the duke so even though she's a woman she's the duke so oh, okay. good for her <laughs> Uh. Yeah, and it's the funny thing with Jersey is like I don't. It's so weird. It's like you know, and, and I guess reading back through the history, you'll find out why. You know, you'd probably realize why it's part of say Britain instead of France because it's like right next, like what seventeen miles away from from France from from France, and yeah. you would think it's like right there. <laughs> yeah, but the whole point is this: rich people have tried, you know how people say they used to use Switzerland and used to like the Virgin Islands, so like. Yeah, they're like these tax tax shelters. Tax yeah. shelters. Now, Jersey's a new place. Well, maybe need to ask now, but it's been around for these people. And there's a whole story that happened, that expose that happened, but how this Kanye <laughs> Dick stuff. Dick. So, well, I mean, how we even, come across this is this reporter um, from um, the institutional investor. Um, her name is Leah Goodman. And so she wrote this article about it. Um, and it's funny because this article, so they've given this to so many people and not a lot of people would touch it because it involves so much money and it involves the rich and famous around the world. And a lot of people are shying away from this, this um, information because it involves very, very powerful people. And so on Jersey, there's this, um, this woman, Tanya Dickstock and her husband, who have this mansion, I guess, there, as Jersey is just a very wealthy place. Mm -hmm. um, and so there, you know, she, they were about to get married and, and they come across this pile of documents in 300 locked boxes. Away. Yeah, in, in, in um, bank boxes locked away in this locked uh, squashed court it, that's a part of their house I guess and yeah. in there piled up is all these paperwork and all these um, machines and all of that stuff and so she and her husband are like what on earth is this you know yeah. they found this thing and so going through all of these paperwork to try to piece together well what the background is, is before that her daddy her daddy used to live there right after piecing her she and her husband piece together what they realized was all of this stuff was documents from her father's business. Mm -hmm. And what the father's business was, was forgery. Yep. All these documents, was all <laughs> these forged documents with, from all these rich and wealthy people who all their money is basically funneling through Jersey because a lot of them, what they were doing was they were forging papers you know from false clients false bankruptcies yeah. and all of these things and so they needed documents to prove their lie basically yeah. and her father facilitated all of this forging documents for all of these people and basically tanya was like when you see like the names and what it is they had it's stuff you just don't want to have because you know it's one of those things if anybody know you have it you'll probably you. be swimming with the fishes yep and so they handed this, you know, they photo, photo or photocopied they or copy themselves. <laughs> all of this information and then turned it over to the police who they thought were going to do something. Yeah, right. Nothing. Their police has done nothing. They, she discovered also her father, you know, David, he was the one that was running all of this. And he is now saying like, oh, no, 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 no. I didn't know anything about it. Yeah, I yeah, didn't right. know it, it was happening. It was the people who were running it. I didn't, you know, I, I had nothing to do with it. He basically, through his company, funneled money out of their, their his own family's finances. He basically <laughs> gutted their finances. And for whatever reason, I don't know if he 
has the money or you know maybe he was in debt or whatever it is but whatever it is he used those forgery to get money out of their trust funds yeah. you know and so they pass you know again pass this stuff over to the police the you know instead of doing something about it they the police decided they're not doing anything about it they decided yeah. oh it's not in the interest of the public so they they basically tabled it so tanya and her husband has been trying to colorado court through jersey court to open up this thing to expose this thing and in colorado they got some victories but on jersey nothing nothing they instead of instead what they've done instead is they have literally charged tanya and her husband and hold them in contempt and threaten to throw them in jail for wanting to expose this. So how does this relate to the queen? Yeah. Is because the because Jersey only answers to the crown, the queen is who appoints all of the heads of all of their institutions. So yep. all of their government institution, the treasury, the um, you think of the judicial system, all of the things they are all appointment they are not elected officials these are like her courtiers basically yep. and if you are going up against them there is nowhere for you to go you know and then not only that is they have they call it like this patronate system if you're in one position you just get passed on to another position and another position it's so it's so bad in jersey that the lawyer who set up the the forging company the company that forged those documents the one of the lawyers who set up that company with tanya's father is now the judge, the judge. who yeah. is judging the same <laughs> case tanya tanya her husband of this company and it's just like and he's like and they're like well isn't there a conflict and he's like oh no 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 there's no conflict yeah of course not. And it's, and I mean, also too, you know, you think about the, the fact that this is a tax shelter, you know, yeah. one of the um, senators from there, he, um, he wrote, wrote to the queen is like, look, this place is corrupt. There's no like real person. There's no real authority in the sense that yeah. could bring yeah, the they told him to dismiss and him. Pain, <laughs> you know, and Buckingham Palace basically like, well, the queen isn't, you know, doesn't get involved in the politics and stuff. And he's like, look, you are benefiting from this tax shelter. It yeah. doesn't pass the, the smell test where you have all this power. You basically have the supreme power of this country. And he's like, look, the fish rots from the head. What is happening here is because of what she is doing or whomever is on, would be on the no, monitor. It's what she's not you know? doing. It's, it's not what she's doing. It's what, what she's not doing. Well, in the sense of what she is doing is basically she doesn't want to take responsibility for the corruption. She's not going, you know, they have this thing called the Jersey way, where if you don't do it the way that corrupt way, I if know. you go against that way, you cannot live on the island. He I actually know, when, says, I say, when I say what she's not doing, it's just agreeing with what you're saying. It's another way of saying she's not doing what she needs to be doing. Needs to be doing basically, exactly. yeah. He's like, yeah. if you know, he literally says, if you go along with the way, it'll be wonderful. Yeah, the Jersey way is like you have try. to to yeah, go against the Jersey guess, way because yeah. they'll make so, your life toxic, your family, and your work yeah, toxic. Yeah, exactly. And even when the during the Brexit time, when uh, during Brexit, uh, Jersey wanted to be part of the vote to vote, and so they sent a letter to the Queen uh, saying, "Hey, we want to be part of this. They want to be able to uh, vote and make an impact and be participate in the voting for Brexit." And uh, but their courtiers in Jersey wrote the queen and told the queen to dismiss that letter or ignore it. And so the queen, without even looking into it and assessing the situation, just responded and said, well, with the advice of my staff, uh, I'm glad I was able to, do, you know, later on, he's glad, she was glad that she was able to dismiss that whole thing. And, I was, and, and the people were like, wait a minute, you benefit. That's why I feel like it's the same lawyer, because she's the same thing was said to her. You benefit from us. You use this tax shelter place. You never showed up here. The, the last time you showed up was like, God knows, decades and decades ago. But you, you know, you're prominent here, and you don't take any action. There's so much, you know, uh, uh, unlawfulness that takes place, and nothing is being done. Like it's just like a well, <laughs> wild, wild west, basically. 
and yeah, I'm sure a lot of her it. money is in Jersey. It's a tax shelter. Yeah. A lot of her yeah. money. That's why the guy said she's benefiting from this yeah. tax shelter. Yet yeah. she is doing nothing to, you know, take care of the corruption that's going on. Listen, that island is so <laughs> bad that La Hook, that they were so bad that when they moved, they uh, changed their name and moved to Panama and named it Pantras, what are we calling? Panamanians were like, no, you need to go. <laughs> you're not gonna, you're not gonna destroy the the, the good name of uh, people in the people in Panama and the, the way they handle business. Yes, we do tax shelter things, but we do it legally, at least the best way we can. And that, that's how bad. That La Hulk is that so much so that Panama was like, no, we don't want you here. Even if you change your name, they kick them out. So that's how bad this island is. Like most, you know, it's like so corrupt. Yeah, they have like every, just about every institution, mm -hmm. financial institution in the world has a branch in Jersey. I can't imagine those papers, what's in those. And they're yeah. still trying to decode some of the names. What are the chances that a uh, royal family would be? <laughs> oh, you're kidding. Well, Andrew has patronages that you don't think Andrew is part of that? You don't think the, the queen is part of that? Of course, Charles is part of that, right? Listen, I would not course. be surprised. It's the moment I heard pedophile, that was the first thing I looked up. Yeah. I'm like, and, and then you, you found Charles, and you found Andrew. And yeah, yes, like, he oh, does well. have two patronages. And then they're all like, oh, no, you know, they, some of them don't believe Andrew. They're like, he's a really nice guy. You no, know, maybe they'll jump into the inclusion, whatever. Hmm. But it's like, of yeah. course, it's of an course. island where, yeah. you know, well, that's, 200 that's, people around the world have said they have been sexually abused. And abused. Children. And yeah. there's, there's, there's really? nothing that it charges. Yeah. So it's so corrupt that even like there's such a high level mm -hmm. of child abuse, like, child sexual abuse going on, rape and stuff going on that they can't even, they don't even talk about. They don't deal with it. It's so rampant. No one is talking about it. I can so understand why all these so many perverts who love, rich perverts who live there, who are abusing kids. And yet they're all, it's kind of like an island full of people who uh, put their own uh, magistrate and their own uh, judges and everything because somehow they worked in the same bank or what they say hired them or they were hired by them so everybody has I think everybody has a secret of each other <laughs> so they would not expose each other so even exactly. when you go to the judge the judge knows the person that you're, you're accusing of and who knows what the, the accuser knows of the judge <laughs> exactly the judge. Uh, apart from it being a tax shelter and also a haven for sexual predators um pedophiles you know again going back to how they respond to when people you know when they think they're going to be outed or people are investigating what they're doing there when leah Rue mcgrath goodman um she, in 20, uh, 2012, when um, Leah McGrath Goodman found out about the sexual violence that was going on in Jersey, she decided she wanted to write a book about it. She decided to go there to investigate, um, to investigate what was going on, to interview people about the sexual crimes that was going on in Jersey. And when they, at first, they were, you know, they went, before they knew what she, you know, what the topic was, they were fine. Then they find out what the topic was, and then all of Jersey clamped down on her. So when Leah had, I guess she had left uh, for a bit and then went back to Jersey. Um, well, she was on her way back to Jersey to, you know, continue her investigation. They basically arrested her at Heathrow and basically fingerprinted her, took away her phone, her passport. Uh, her wallet, everything. She couldn't contact immigration. She could not contact, you know, the U.S. Embassy. She couldn't contact her, you know, her lawyer, nothing. They interrogated her for 12 hours, all the while claiming they were doing this on authority from officials in Jersey. And then they banned her from ever coming, from coming back to the U.K., and obviously Jersey, because she needed to go through Heathrow to get a flight out to Jersey banned her and then deported her all because she was investigating the sex crimes in Jersey. This is the kind of thing that happened when you challenge or you investigate the crimes and unethical behavior that's going on in Jersey. They banned her for two years then, but she, through her 
I guess other reporters and lawyers and everything fighting for her. They lifted the ban after one year. So she was able to go back and complete her um, investigation. Um, but Leah did an interview with, in which she said, I have never seen grown men in law enforcement and high level government positions literally fear for themselves, their lives, and their families while trying to do their jobs and protect innocent people. Something is definitely wrong when investigating child abuse means being bullied, threatened, and smeared. As someone who cares about the island and cares about these people and these issues, I don't know if I can want something like this and not do anything as a journalist. And she also says, she says, I have seen what I what I would call a standard playbook that comes out whenever they detect a threat. The island's press and judiciary push to marginalize whoever speaks out. It is, be it police, victims, or health minister who is in charge at the time by attacking their credibility and soundness of mind, more or less calling them liars. And I think that is so important because that, you know, if you do a little parallel to what the British press, the, the, um, the royal family and the British press have been doing ever since Oprah's interview, the one thing they have been constantly doing is trying to brand, brand Meghan as a liar. That's the one thing they have been unrelenting in their quest to brand her as a liar and it's the same pattern it for whatever reason whatever you're having to do with the monarchy their thing is to discredit you make you look crazy like they did to princess diana like you have mental health issues just what they did to princess diana and then brand you a liar and that is a trademark of the royal family they just carry on the same pattern in how they attack people who question, who investigate them, and who try to out them. So that's our take on Jersey. <laughs> uh, it is quite a place. Um, you know, so definitely jump into the comments and let us know your take. And please do some more, do some research um, on your own and, and see if there are more things that I'm sure we missed a lot. And um, definitely um, send us whatever you got out of it. Um, and also, maybe you'd find some stuff about the other channel, channel islands too, which are also tax shelters. So thank you guys for watching and um, definitely please subscribe please yeah please subscribe um hit the notification button and you know so that way you will know whenever we drop a video um you can also if you'd like support us we do have merchandise that i love the merchandise especially the mug uh you know that <laughs> definitely feel free to jump on the site and get yourself some merch and or if you um you know and or i should say if you're interested in sub supporting us um in other ways we do have uh, PayPal and Cash App. They're all in our come in our notes, um, in our show notes. So definitely jump up there. We thank you in advance for any support. Again, no obligation. But if you'd like to, thank you. So again, until next time. Bye. <laughs>